YouTube. Well, today let's get the uh, drawer pulls or drawer slides in. Um, I'm going to mount them up here. Most times you think, you know, drawer at the bottom uh, or the pull or the slide. This is actually with a through tenon is going to be the strongest point. Also, uh, when I'm pulling it out, handle is going to be about here. So it'll help keep it from racking at all. So, what I've done, what I've got, I've got full extension drawer pulls, um, or drawer slides, I don't know why I keep saying pull. Um, this gets mounted to the uh, sides, and then this piece is going to get mounted to the actual uh, pantry pullouts. So. Sort of a cutaway version. Um, this is where that shelf is going to go. I measured down, so there's going to be a quarter inch gap uh, at the top and a quarter inch gap at the bottom of this. I'll get this mounted right here, leaving enough space for the um, the face that I'm going to put on this, which is going to be three quarter inch plywood, because I've got some of that left over. Um, so, get that, because it's going into three quarter inch, I'm actually using half inch screws, um, half inch uh, flathead wood screws, they'll sink in, there's going to be a whole lot of them in this, so it's not going to be a problem, uh, it's going almost the full, full depth in there, so let me, uh, Get my driver, and we'll get um, we'll get that installing. This other panel, I've got back over here, so because it's a little, it'd be hard to work inside this. When I get the the slides in, then I can put this panel in, and we'll attach it to the two by fours and the back wall. Get it all nice trued up, and then um, we'll put it on the put them put the uh, part on the pantries and we'll slide that in. So let me get my driver and we'll get going on this. So what I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole for those two. We'll get that in and I can drill pilot holes for the other ones. So Gotta find my uh, my uh, drill. Now this has got a little bit of a curve to it, which is why I, all the other ones are nice and straight, which is why I'm using this one here, because attaching it here, 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 and down the bottom, it's going to pull that bow out of it. So, but getting it into place is a little trickier. Okay, on these drawer pulls, there's a little latch here. 
allows this, this part to come out. I can attach it to the drawer and then we will uh, put it in, see how it works. sure I keep them oriented right. See what happens. This goes this time. I move this up a quarter inch, I move that up a quarter inch. So. Okay, so um, all the problems I was having with this is I um, I spent an entire day, I'm talking a full eight hours, trying to figure out why this thing was binding up. I thought that this was, that I had this angled in a little bit, it was too close, I tried that, I tried moving it out a little bit. Uh, nothing seemed to work. And then I finally figured out when I got down on the floor and actually laid down and looked at stuff is that the, the, uh, board down here in the middle, this one here, the spacer and the one at the bottom, the one at the bottom was a half an inch too high, was hitting this. And this one was angled just a little bit, was hitting this. So... After all that, after that entire day, it now slides out beautiful. Slides out beautiful down here. So now I've got the two part pantry it is finally all done, except for uh, the face. So I'll get the face on it, I'll get the door up here, and uh, be working on the drawers and so on. Um, I've started to just put some frame up just to get an idea up here for a cabinet for putting the, uh, uh, for storage above the stove, but also to put the, um, the exhaust fan and light above the, uh, the stove. Oh yeah. After I got done messing with that, I just set the stove in place. So, uh, 
I haven't got the other counter on there yet, but we'll get the tile work done, the backsplash, and then um, I'll get the uh, get that on. But in the meantime, I uh, start working on thinking about working on the drawers and getting doors on all this. And uh, so, yeah. I like it. I'm going to have to make a way to latch it so it doesn't slide open. But another thing I wanted to say was uh, thank you. Gone over 300 subscribers. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, I'm. Uh, it's entertaining and informative, which is all I'm trying to do. And um, so now I'm looking at. Uh, getting closer and closer. I got to start doing some uh, wiring for lights and plumbing, but I need to get and uh, propane. But I need to get uh, the money together to get the big things: the propane tank, uh, the water storage, and the gray water tank, and uh, the refrigerator. So. Um, there may be some space in here between. Uh, I got some. I got a lot of little things to do. I got some more cabinets to build and stuff. So, um, but in any way, thank you again. Uh, tell your friends and neighbors uh, to hit that subscribe button down there. I think it's it's over there somewhere. Uh, if you're interested, I still have a lot of stickers left. Uh, they're I'll put a, an image in uh, right here, and uh, if you send, if you donate five dollars, I'll send you two of those nice stickers. Uh, they make nice rust bandages. Um, and uh, in any case, see you next time, YouTube. Hopefully, it goes smoother than that little fun project. All right, bye.